Waking the Glares from developer Wise Fool Studios is a first person adventure game that brings you on a journey through the eyes of a man called Dawnfall who has lost his memory. He needs to reclaim his memories by gathering pages from a book about his life which he needs to complete so he can remember and understand his past, present and future. When you first start the demo you only have a few pages inside a folder and some type of mystical compass in your right hand. You awaken in an empty Parisian suburb with no clue of how you got there but as you explore the streets your compass will spin faster and faster when you get close to clues and objects of interest which you will need to collect so you can progress through the story. This place, can you remember? We played Waking the Glares with an Xbox controller and it vibrates at different intensities as your compass spins faster when you get close to clues. This means that when playing with the controller you don't have to constantly watch the compass as the tactile cues are enough to get you where you need to be. The gameplay is similar to a game you might have played as a child called Hot and Cold. However, Waking the Glares uses the intensity of the compass instead of a friend saying whether you are hotter or colder. Even with your mystical compass, you still have to look hard to find some of the clues as they can be difficult to pick out even if you're practically standing on top of them. The graphics for Waking the Glares are pretty well done for the most part, but the real standout point is how the lighting effects are handled. When walking past trees and looking up into the sky in VR, you can almost feel the warm sun hitting your face. The grass and leaves blow in the gentle breeze, and all of this is backed by a beautiful piano piece that really complements the overall feel of the game. We did have some issues with the game as on quite a few occasions camera control is taken away from you and this can be quite jarring even for us seasoned drifters. This usually happens when you unlock a new clue or area but thankfully it only lasts about 10 seconds or less which is just about tolerable. Overall, Waking the Glares embodies everything that makes indie games and developers unique and interesting. It's more about the journey you experience and not the destination. You can play the game at your own pace and never feel rushed to the next area, as the environment that surrounds you is a tranquil and peaceful place that beckons to be explored. Waking the Glares is available to pre-order on Kickstarter and the demo is available to download today. We will put a link in the description below. If you enjoyed this review, please remember to hit subscribe and visit us at virtualrealityreviewer.com for more news, reviews and features.